Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here with another new loco from the update. The last of the four new locos from the update. Not really a new loco, kind of just a replant coal version of the Cook Mogul. So we did save it for last. Went with blue because this is going to be our blue barrel oil delivering uh, loco is what it's going to be so as you can see we did just put cook locomotive works on the side and it is the cook mogul so there you go mogul on the side do like the dark wood color of the cab that's pretty cool so as you can see i know some people have complained because it's pretty tight to see back here you can't really back up into the coal or anything makes it pretty hard not to say that you know and it doesn't look like that'll go down maybe it'll go down as the coal goes down hard telling if the hitbox will reduce or not i don't know how that'll go a lot of coal in there to find that out that's for sure we'll just kind of take a quick little look around this one not going to go crazy with as we have seen cook moguls before i do kind of like the uh new blue paint Though I do have to say my favorite is probably still the old one. I do kind of like the um, the classic black with the uh, shovel or plow. Not even shovel. It's like a plow blade on the front. Kind of digging that one. Alright, so nice walk through of the Cook Mogul. Wow, a little bit lost. We go doors cab all seems pretty normal in this department what we've come to know from railroads online so, another good looking model cook's always been a really super functional locomotive so it's kind of interesting to see how this one goes all right give me the driver's view Huh. There we go. A little picky about getting into driver's view. That's another thing I heard about this one. So we did bring out the um, tier, well, the cordwood cars, whatever the heck you want to call them. I forget which tier. The tier three cars, I believe, which is what hauls the oil barrels, weirdly enough. Hit that. Same bell, nothing new there. Same whistle, nothing new there. Cow catcher looks rusty, I think, is what that's going for there. Just kind of a rusty old cow catcher, which is a little weird with that bright of blue frame, but hey. There we go. Check it out with the cylinders on, cylinder cocks on. About the same as the old one. Not sure about the speed on this one. So we'll just kind of chill coming out of the station. Alright, that's enough. Stop with the bell. See, is this a set and forget or is this a, it goes too fast? locomotive does not appear that this one blows the speed cap off we have definitely have full pressure brakes are off oh i bet we don't have any brake on there oh no, we're good all right so we're just kind of chilling this one does have holders for lights on the back so that's cool can't imagine any of these back brakes would be off, but let's just check before we assess the locomotive with brakes on. So this one does seem to be, uh oh There we go. Alright. This is a little different moving around this one. So it would appear that we do not have a speed cap on this locomotive. This is going to be a set and forget. Let's 
same old bell. Definitely makes the cook mogul look tall, just like the old one. That's cool. Kind of seems really slow as compared to we've been running locos without the speed caps on, or a higher speed cap, I'll say that. So, seem a little faster. This one kind of seems a little slow in comparison. Um, other than that, seems to be doing the trick so far. Uh, I suppose we could have actually turned right there. Either way, we have to go around, so not a big deal. We'll just kind of let this thing ride through. Let's see if we can get zoomed in here on the loco and ride with it for a bit. First chance to really look at this one. I do like the gray with the blue. That's pretty cool. Kind of would rather have the tender in gray, if you ask me, or like most of it gray, the main body. That would have been kind of nicer, I think. If it was the same color as the boiler was the main body of the tender. That's just kind of my, you know, probable little tweak of it that I would make. It's a little too much blue. I mean, the neck on the tender could have been black, like the holders, things like that. It's maybe just a little too much blue. Like, we got black in back here. We should have had some more. This probably should have been black. The steps, things like that, if you ask me. I mean, this step should have been black. Painting that seems like it. they wouldn't have done it. that switch switch and switch are all good we've been running oil like crazy trying to get ourselves worked up for the oil barrel deliveries and to take possession of the new locomotive so i think we got enough oil actually delivered up there to pull a full load or at least pretty much a full load of four cars got to be really close and did definitely get enough money to pick up the new locomotive. So, productive day on the rail yesterday. Didn't have uh, a lot of money, that was for sure. But we ran enough oil to pick up the new loco. So, winner, winner. Now we're getting to the big money loads, which will... Oh, we should be just screaming this thing. So now we're going to get to the big money loads. We can really start filling in some rolling stock and make some bigger trains where we can run them, pick up some alternate locomotives and trains and really start filling out the railroad. So that'll be the next priority. Probably stick in some coal towers, some water towers, that kind of thing. Start dressing up some of the bridges and some of the turns and all that stuff. So looking forward to getting to that, that's for sure. Number six, so it does look like I think we ended up with seven locomotives is what we kind of went through on this layout. Probably will increase that number quite a bit now as we just fill in locos, but these oil barrels may obviously make that a much, much easier task to do. That is for certain. Cook Mogul having no problem with the hill, of course, you know, the hill is more empty. So, can't anticipate this one causing too much of a problem anywhere. This is just kind of going to be the showpiece. Woo! Make money train. bit of gray on the deck. See, they should have brought that up through. Should, should have been more. A little more gray, a little less blue. Would have been cool. Oh, there we go. We definitely do have enough for a full load. That is cool. Barrels are sitting on the side. Hopefully we got this 
distance and whatnot right to the dock. These are always kind of a little bit of a pain. Well, not always, but sometimes can be a little bit of a pain. I'll say that. I had a few oil barrels eaten by the dock out here before. They fall between there even when they look like they can't. So hopefully we got this one set. 100 barrels up and barrels coming down. Dropping in. Yeah, definitely dropping in. Good to go there. 100 barrels up. And make sure these are going to drop in. Whoo, see that's close. Yeah, it is. They're almost going to tip between it. But it makes it, so that's good. Good distance there. Really looking forward to actually dropping these off. How is that blue with that blue? Yeah, see? I figured that's... This is going to be the blue train. It's all about that midnight blues. Getting it done. A lot of money in this load, though. Should be. Always the good one to get to. Certainly helps when it comes to, you know, buying rolling stock and whatnot. But then you have to run just a lot of loads to get to these oil barrels. So, you know, even though that pays quite a bit, it's, uh, wow, those really are close to fall in between. That's okay. It's all working. Finally, the payoff. Might stick a few more on here this time, hard telling. Four seems like to be a very good round, you know, load out here, at least in my opinion. It's not too, too much work to load it up, fill it. Uh, you try to start running more than that, and it's like more, I don't know. It's more than the refinery holds anyway, that's for sure. So it can be a bit of a hassle. Hey, let me out. Uh, do have to say it in a construction zone today. Uh-oh, we might have got one over, but if we did, that's okay. Won't be the end of the world. 46, that's perfect. Yeah, it's the hammering coming through. In the video, I apologize for that one. Not much I can do. I have adjusted as much as I possibly can, but there are uh, a lot of construction going on outside today. So, there we go. Ooh. Two wagons down, two more wagons to go. That's for sure. See, that is a little, that is a little on the sticky side there. That getting that um, third-person view out of that one, I guess. All right. Probably just a touch more. Don't go too far. Don't need that. Oh, that's close. Whew. That disappeared for me. All right, drop that. Can't quite empty him out. Fifty. What? No, are you kidding? How is that work? Hmm. Let's see how does that work. Like, how does that last? That's kind of weird that the one wagon would drop and this one won't. Not exactly sure. Hmm. Not sure why that would be. 
I mean, that's a weird problem to have, quite frankly. Train, I guess. Yeah, okay. There he goes. Awkward. That was a little weird one to have there. Not sure. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to say because you would. Hmm. Hmm. I guess that one's just beyond me because it shouldn't have made a difference. It was dumping in the middle of the car before, a little low enough. For, I don't know. Mm. Who knows? We lost a couple barrels. Hopefully, we got still enough. I think we do. We had four or five to spare. It looked like when we started dumping that last one. So, hopefully, that's good. One. All right, there's two. Uh, one more barrel. Bring that up. At least we got a couple more over there if we need them. So this one's just going to be a little further behind. A little longer on the loading process there. Not sure. As I said, I have no idea why it would matter. I mean, I know it's close. Obviously, it's, it's close. They're tipping out. But I have thought where in the car it drops to makes a difference but all right apparently it does not that i'll be moving that over to probably solve it i don't know i kind of like the fact that it can miss at the dock that seems cool <laughs> why not oh well so enough to fill it so that's good should take care of that and then I guess we will jump in and see if we can get this one delivered not totally sure station with the blue train that's pretty cool actually I have to say I like the blue with the blue that's probably my favorite oil barrel train so far out of all the layouts kind of glad that we decided to go with this option so it's kind of I like that it's definitely a lot of blue but it looks good going down the uh going down the way there the blueberry express is kind of what this one is in classic probably kick a little bit of brake here don't need too many problems that's a lot of bit of brake not a little bit of brake definitely like that train though there we go cook look up motive works the mogul Or just call it the cook mogul, I suppose, for most. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Been running oil barrels the other direction, so this is not really set up to run this way. So, there we go. See how that goes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa! Running a little bit crazy there. One switch. Totally forgot about that guy. 
Oh, we don't need to worry about that. We should be good to go. Nail it back. And let her fly. Not a bad looking little train there. Whoa. Put it to the ground. Nothing like it. Yeah, I definitely dig that. Looks cool. It's not exactly the fastest train on the track, but uh, looks like it's going to get it done. Now that we'll have to compete for the quarter with cars, not really. I mean, we'll just buy another new set, but. Hopefully one day we get another cordwood car option, that'd be cool, or like another barrel car option, something there, would be kind of neat. I've always thought it's kind of weird that we take like the last, you know, the last most expensive drop off somehow goes into the tier three cars, so it'd be kind of cool, or it shares with the cordwood, it'd be kind of neat if these, uh, if we got some new oil cars someday. Not exactly sure, you know. I'm sure they did use cars like this. They probably had other types of cars they used for oil barrels, or even maybe if we got to haul them in the uh, box cars, would be kind of cool. They give us an option one way or another whether we wanted to go with the box cars. They could easily, you would think, roll these kind of things inside the box car. So maybe that'd be something too. I don't know. Give us a little more option in what we're running there. I don't know. Too many people would complain. I definitely would not. Way would I would definitely run some box cars. Shoot, totally out of steam. That took too long. That's horrible. I'm so busy looking at a new loco. That's what you get. Staring at new colors. Hopefully we can keep the thing moving. It is really cool and that was the first time we fired it too we'd probably be exploding this locomotive or something not really <laughs> it's not like we're out of water we're just out of fire but so close to our destination push it on and see if we can do anything about getting there we're still making progress it's just taking forever no, I'm just kidding. yep no whistle nothing that's uh that's when you know you're definitely down on the pressure no whistle no anything fire temp totally died not even looking at it i suppose out there playing around with oil barrels too expensive of a load and a brand new local to distract you that's just operator malfunction give us a good chance to come in and take a good look at the model for the mogul Again, probably has a nice side lights there up front. Seems like that was a cook locomotive thing, to be honest. They seem to have done that. The 280s have it. This one has it. The other cook has it. Not exactly sure how come we got a total new skin to go coal on this one instead of just switching over the, you know, coal on the other one. All right, there's the light. Let's go ahead and hook up some light action while we're while we're at it. There we go. To oh, I actually like that look. Huh? Some of the first locos I actually like with the lights on. Most of the time, I just like them better with it off. So there we go. Nice look at the loco can't complain i think it's a cool looking locomotive i don't know why it's going backwards can't complain though this one's definitely operator malfunction still have no pressure let's go it should start developing some here shortly Just not building up. But my fault for totally killing it. That's what happens when you let them run out. Too busy. Looking at other things. The oil barrels didn't want to go into the thing. That totally threw me off. 
But that's what happens with first runs sometimes, I think, is other things get to getting in the way. Here we go. We're going to start moving. Yeah, I really apologize doing that one. Definitely could edit that out, but that wouldn't be a first run of a loco, so that's not fair. <laughs> that was just, uh, yep. The crew was caught up with the new toy, man. What are you going to do? Definitely need to pick up a uh, loco, or not a loco, but a, um, uh, a caboose for on the back of this one, a caboose or a way car or something like that. We definitely have the weight. You know, no problem. Not gonna cause us any issues there, so we'll have to come up with something. Alright, kicking it in a low tone. Good look at the running gear. Yeah, I mean, overall, decent locomotive. It's definitely going to do the job that we have set out for it. Cook moguls are generally pretty strong, so I can't imagine having too much pulling problems with this thing. Um, looks like it's got a decent sized pile of coal, lots of water. Um, you know, it's going to be easy to operate because it doesn't have a speed, you know, over speed problem. 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 Blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't seem to have the overspeed problem that some locomotives do, so if you're looking for something that's easier to run without dumping your uh, cars all the time, this is probably a good way to go. And it's going to haul, you know, still a fair amount. The Cook Moguls, the Cook Mogul, the other one's always been good anyway, so I would assume, you know, this one I haven't chested under a load, but it all seems to have the same number, same everything else, so can't imagine much. Uh, being too much of a problem except for the heaviest of loads in the game or you know some of the steep angle stuff I don't know that the cook mogul's ever been super great for you know over over steep type of angles you know I don't know They've never really tried to run it on anything too too crazy either so we'll take one last look around the loco there pretty cool looking little load gonna need the um, oops let's bring that up as we'll see 188 bucks make sure everything's dropping on the dock already lost a couple don't need to lose any more here so we'll let those go but as you can see the money is definitely pile it in now from you know, I think we had what 188 bucks there or something and uh, now we'll be kicking that into gear payday that's for sure you can uh, watch the money start piling up as it gets it these are the best loads for sure if you don't mind running the loads to get to them that's also a thing but there we go, over 6K. Looks like we're going to cross over the $7,000 mark. Right there. So there we go, $7,000 and some change in one pretty easy four-car train. So I think with that one, we are definitely going to call it a win. Say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.